नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड नंबर सिस्टम रियल नंबर एंड देयर डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन फर्स्ट लेट अस सॉल्व फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स सिंपल डिवीजन फाइंड द डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन ऑफ टेन बाय थ्री सेवन बाय थ्री एंड वन बाय सेवन सो ये फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज टेन बाय थ्री सो टेन वन डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री 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 इज नाइन सो वन इज द रिमाइंडर सो वी विल पुट अ पॉइंट हियर एंड विल टेक अ जीरो हियर थ्री थ्री इज नाइन वन इज द रिमाइंडर थ्री थ्री इज नाइन वन वन सेकेंड थ्री थ्री इज नाइन वन दिस प्रोसेस कंटिन्यूस सो वी कैन राइट इयर टेन बाय थ्री इज ईक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री 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 एक्सेट्रा रिमाइंडर इज रिपीट्स ऑलवेज रिमाइंडर रिपीट्स दट इज वन आफ्टर दि वन 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 लाइक वाइज डिविजर इज थ्री दर इज थ्री डिविजर इज थ्री दिस थ्री नाउ लेट अस मूव ऑन टू दिस प्रॉब्लम सेवन वेन सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय एट दिस वन इज एट सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय एट सो एट जीरो जीरो सो सेवन इज द रिमाइंडर यर let me mark point so here 0 8 8 is 64 so the remainder is 6 so as we have put a point here here 0 8 7 is 56 so 4 is the remainder so here we will take 0 8 5 is 40 is right there is no remainder here is right in this case what happens here when 7 divided by 8 which is equals to 0.875 so no further numbers are there uh, digits are there here remainder is what is the remainder here first remainder what we got is 7 7 is right if not you can take directly 6 6 was the remainder and then next was the 4 and next comes the year 0 so divisor was divisor 8 8 was the divisor so here it has terminated here whereas here it has recurred likewise if you further go on dividing means 3 3 3 co continuously repeats it is not terminated it is recurring what we three is recurring what is the meaning of recurring means one which repeats three is repeating in every step yes right here let me move on to the seven one when seven is divided by one is divided by seven so seven zeros zero so one is there let me put a point here so we will get 10 seven ones seven Three is there, so thirty. Ten minus seven is three, so seven four is twenty-eight. Two is remainder. Here zero seven two is fourteen, so six is the remainder. Twenty minus fourteen is equal to six. Sixty is there. Seven eight is fifty-six. Seven eight is fifty-six. Four is the remainder. So zero seven five is thirty five. Five is the remainder. Here zero is right. Seven seven is forty nine. One is the remainder. So it has started here once again. The cycle has started. Likewise, it continuously the same number are continuous. Here. This will continue. So one four two eight five seven one four two eight five seven. As you continue seven ones are seven. It will be if we can further divide it means what happens here? Ten is there. Uh, the same process here. Ten seven ones are seven 
and next 30 will come 3 is the remainder 30 7 4 is so 28 likewise this process continues okay now so what is the uh, value means 1 by 7 is equal to 0 0.142857 this is fully repeating part this one is period 1 2 3 4 5 6 is the period of this one that is the repeating part so uh, remainder is remainder is equal to, is or uh, what is the remainder here 3 2 6 4 5 1 1 is also the remainder here is right remainder what is the divisor divisor is one which divides that is 7 7 is the divisor you should understand here students that <coughs> here is, this is also a non terminating number non terminating non terminating decimal expansion is there decimal expansion but uh, here also it is recurring recurring means repeating recurring you should understand these words non terminating terminate means which uh, ends here this one is a this one is having a terminating decimal expansion terminating decimal expansion is there expansion once it terminates there is, we can't say it is repeating or not repeating we can't say that one it is it has terminated terminated means it is ended up there is, further we can't write anything other than zero but simply we can write zero 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 it's of no use of writing all those things but uh, it has terminated it, yes right whereas here it is non-terminated non-terminating 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 decimal expansion decimal expansion it is a non-terminating decimal expansion but it is repeating as it is repeating you will say recurring See? Recur recurring here 10 by 3 as a non-terminating decimal expansion and it is recurring decimal expansion whereas here also in this last problem that is 1 by 7 as a non-terminating decimal expansion and it is recurring recurring with a period of 6 period is 6 it is there in this case the remainder never becomes 0 remainder never becomes becomes 0 it never becomes 0 year 2 in the first problem also remainder does not equals to 0 it never becomes uh, equals to 0 in these two cases whereas here the remainder has become 0 is equal to 0 remainder becomes 0 here remainder of is will become will become become 0 0 that's why there will not be uh, further decimal expansion will not be there the expansion stops whereas in these two problems there will the remainder as the remainder does not equals to zero there will be non terminating decimal expansion will be there this type of decimal expansion is true for not only these uh, three examples it is true for all the rational numbers it is true for all rational numbers which is are in the form of p by q first case if the remainder becomes zero it is it will be having terminating decimal expansion the second case is the remainder never becomes zero decimal expansion will be non terminating decimal expansion if it is if the remainder never becomes zero means decimal expansion will be non terminating if it becomes zero it will be terminating and not only in the second case you can't say it is only non terminating but it will be sure as it is a rational number it will be a recurring decimal expansion recurring 
recurring decimal expansion will be there for all the rational numbers there can be two chances will be there one is remainder becomes zero and the another one is remainder never becomes zero that you should remember forever for all the rational numbers there are there is only two chance one is terminating decimal expansion if it doesn't terminates means definitely recurring decimal expansion will be there this is the property of the rational numbers is there any other chances non recurring decimal expansion if you ask this question means there is no way for rash uh, rational numbers if it becomes non recurring means it is called as a irrational number so no no way you should not think about that right now we will be de defining that also now on later recurring means repeating repeating decimal expansion expansion will be there terminating means which ends up ends ends ending ends terminating means ends non ending decimal expansion yes right terminating is ending the decimal expansion of a rational number is either terminating or non terminating recurring you should note down this that it is either terminating it is either terminating or non terminating recurring that is the rational number if it has a decimal expansion means it will terminate if it doesn't terminate means it will be having a terminating recurring non terminating recurring you should note down this one moreover a number whose decimal expansion is either terminating if you think of a number which is having a decimal expansion it is terminating it is terminating okay if it doesn't terminates means it is recurring and it will be a non terminating recurring means it is a rational number other than that there is no chance you should note down this let us now think about other thing non terminating and non recurring what happens now if a decimal expansion a number will be having a decimal expansion but it is not terminating and even non recurring so what happens that is uh, nothing other than the irrational number let us deal with it now the decimal expansion of an irrational number is non terminating that is it never ends is right non recurring that means the numbers the same number never repeats non recurring it is recurring means repeating non repeating that is non repeating non terminating means it is not ending it will be going on and even it is not the same number never repeats that is the best quality of the irrational numbers that is the difference here if it terminates it may in the rational numbers it may terminate here it never terminates if it terminates it is no doubt that it is a rational number if it doesn't terminates definitely it will be recurring that you should not rational number will be recurring non terminating and recurring whereas here it is non terminating non recurring irrational number moreover a number whose decimal expansion is non terminating non recurring is rational if there is a number let us think there is a number with a decimal expansion which is having non terminating and non recurring decimal expansion so definitely undoubtedly it is a irrational number let us take the examples for the irrational numbers now root 2 is equal to 1.4142135623739 5048801688724205678 is 
etc. Likewise, this is row 2. Here, no number repeats. Nothing. 5. Likewise, 3.1415. Likewise, etc. It is there. And uh, this is the by examples, general examples given for the irrational numbers. There are other also numbers are there. That is root 3 is there, which is having a um, root 3, root 5, root 7. These are all there, which is having, these numbers are also having the non-terminating and non-recurring decimal expansions. These are also called as non-terminating uh, recurring decimals, though it is irrational numbers. We can write uh, irrational numbers. So let me write one irrational number here right now. 0. Point, uh, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, 0, 9, likewise, 9, 0, 10, 0, 11, 0, 12, likewise, we can write, let me write another one, what is that means, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 3, 0, 4, 4, 0, 5, 5, 0, 6, 6, etc., likewise, also, we can write, so we can give several of the examples in this way these are all the examples for the decimal uh, non terminating and non recurring decimal expansion so these are all irrational numbers